Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be going over a quick guide on how to get Dark Souls on your Nintendo Switch running at 60 FPS. It's a really simple thing to do, but first things first, I'm going to assume that you've already watched my video on the Tesla menu setup, and you have already set up not only Tesla menu, but also Edison, SysClock, and Status Monitor. Now with that done, there's a couple of things we need specific to Dark Souls. First, we have to grab the 60 FPS mod. It's a really simple mod. It actually is just a cheat in the Edison cheat menu and you enable it through that. So you just go ahead, you can click here, download this, click save, and there you go. But there is one more thing I want to mention here. I went ahead and put together my own compilation of the cheats for extra stamina and things like that along with the FPS. And you can just grab that from the zip right here. I'll put that up and have a link to it down below. Now, the next thing that you need is Reverse NXRT. So let's go ahead and grab this. I already have it downloaded, so there you are. Save again. Now we want to go ahead to the folder that it all downloaded in. You can go Show in Folder. And I want to open up my Pretend Switch SD card. It's basically the same thing as what's on my Switch. And... The first thing you need to do, let's say you're using the default setup. Right, let's go ahead, we'll do mine. We're gonna go ahead, we want to extract that. And you wanna go ahead, open up the folder that it created here. This number, it needs to go in atmosphere, contents. Let's go ahead, drag and drop that over, make sure it's in an empty spot. If it prompts you to replace, just go ahead and replace. It's going to override any previous cheats that you had in the menu for this specific game. And next thing that you need to do is you got to copy over reverse NXRT. So we're going to go ahead, extract that. I always extract things first before I copy them over because sometimes it won't copy everything if you do it straight from the zip. It's always best to extract it and then copy. So make sure we're not clicked on anything here. You grab these two files. Drag and drop them over to the SD card. There you are, done. And you are good to go. Now let's hop over to the Nintendo Switch and I'll show you what to do there. All right, loading up Dark Souls. Let's get into the game. The only thing I have open right now is the status monitor, as you can see up there in the top left corner. Let's just run around a little bit so I can show you what it looks like at the default 30 FPS. As you can see, the game's a little bit sluggish at 30 FPS. So when we switch it up to 60, it really improves the gameplay. So I'll run up the stairs, do a lap here. And let's go back down. Let's go check out that water area so you can get a point of reference for there. I'm going to do a before and after as well. Jump in the pond. So the 30 FPS does seem to stutter quite a bit. It's really a game changer when you pump it up to 60. Put up the Tesla menu. Go over to reverse NXRT. What we want to do, we want to switch to the manual mode so we can make the system think it's in handheld. Click change system control and then click change mode. Now we can run around a little bit, but as you see, it's still only 30 FPS. It's got that 30 FPS stutter, not the smoothness of 60. We want to go ahead, open up Tesla again, go to Edison and enable the 60 FPS cheat. Just turn that on. You go ahead and enable some other stuff here if you're bad at the game like I am. Status monitor, mini, and right there, top left corner, 60 FPS. Let's go ahead and open up the sysclock menu to double check our overclock settings. 
edit app profile and I'm in docked at the moment. So 768 on the GPU, that's the really important thing to make 60 FPS run smoothly on Dark Souls for Nintendo Switch. If you're running in handheld mode on an older Arista model, you're unable to overclock the Nintendo Switch GPU above 460 megahertz due to power limits in place. If you have a newer mod chip, Micro revision, then you're able to overclock higher to say 768 and you can achieve smooth 60 FPS in handheld mode. Aside from that, if you're running the Arista model, you have to be plugged in to the official Nintendo Switch wall charger while playing in handheld in order to overclock the GPU above 460. I do recommend overclocking the CPU just a little bit to 1224 just to help even out frame pacing. With everyone talking about Elden Ring recently, I really wanted to give a Souls game a shot since I've never played one before, and the 60 FPS patch really helps to make this game more accessible to modern players. So that's it for the video. If you liked it, please consider giving it a like and a sub if you want to see more of my content. I'm going to go ahead and let some gameplay run from here, so please enjoy it and have a good rest of your day.